Have you been looking for a way to stay focused on your goals and grow your MSP? Accountability groups from Rocket MSP can help. We offer weekly accountability sessions that meet online with a group of your peers. Your success begins with accountability. Go to www.rocketmsp.io to join your accountability group today. Willing to walk away. So what do you do when somebody says to you, it's been working fine till now. I don't need this. Mm. Mm. So as in, this is a brand new prospect. They've contacted you or they've agreed to have a conversation, but then they're saying, oh, but everything's great. Everything's fine. So... So I think what there's there's probably two two different scenarios here. Scenario one, um, and I'm guessing based on you know feedback I'm getting from other people here, right? So scenario mm. one, new prospect. Hey, mm. I uh, I something stupid. My my Wi-Fi isn't working. Okay, great. Mm. I fixed your Wi-Fi. Here's a contract for managed services. Mm. Like. <laughs> I I think that type of stuff, mm. I, I think that they're going about it all wrong because mm. they're not asking the questions. And it, like like you said earlier, mm. when when you say, hi, my name is Steve, would you like a colonoscopy? You're, you're basically <laughs> doing the same thing, right? Well, like, okay, let's use this scenario. So Sally calls up and she says, hey, Steve, I heard, you, you know, we met on LinkedIn once upon a time. I actually heard you're really great. Listen, I'm in a bit of a bind. My Wi-Fi is down. Um, you just come out and fix it, right? What most MSPs, well, there's two two things MSPs do, and they're both wrong. One is, um, yeah, sure, you just go out and fix it and send a bill and try to open up a conversation about managed services. Goes absolutely nowhere. Goes nowhere. Doesn't work. And the second one is to say, no, we're a managed service provider, and you know, uh, we don't do that. You need to come have an agreement with us, and then. Um, and and then we'll come out and we'll fix your Wi-Fi. And both of these are just wrong. Just don't do don't do that. We it's talked about this on our hours. last block of hours, right? It's got to be enough money. There's got to be enough pain. Like I don't know your market rates, but for me, that block of hours would be somewhere between fifteen hundred to eighteen hundred dollars for ten hours in the Sydney market. And I would say I'm absolutely happy to come out, Sally, and solve that for you. I'm going to get my best person on this, and they're going to be out there like that. I need to pull them out of one of our managed services uh, pools to do this. I need to pull them away from another customer. We work in blocks of hours, but let's get this sorted out now. And um, a percentage of people uh, buy because that Wi-Fi problem is big enough. It's costing their business more. And therefore, they'll say, yep, that's like, let's just get it done. They don't like it. They want you to come out for free. They want to argue the bill later on with you. But what you're saying is, no, we're a professional, so I'm a surgeon and I'm going to send one of my best people out, but there's a fee for that. We spoke, everyone should check out the last episode. You've got another three hours to spare. Everyone should check out the last episode that we did because we spoke exhaustively about how to sell that, right? So that's 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 the objection, yeah? Yes. So I think yeah. version two of that objection is mm. you've got an MSP client. Um, mm. you were able to get them to, to sign mm. on with, we'll mm. call it the, the better plan. You've got good, better, best, mm. right? They're on the mm. better plan. Mm. They really need, uh, this upgrade. And mm. it's, it's, uh, it's one of those where like, they think it's not <clears throat> broke. Don't fix mm. it. But what's mm. actually happening is mm. they, they have like a, something strung together or maybe mm. they don't have mm. something that's good enough quality or whatever the reason, yep. right? Yep. Love it. Yep. This is, this also is one of my favorites, uh, existing client. Um, so we've already got some, there's some skin in the game. We know each other. Um, hope, obviously they're a client, so there must be some level of trust and respect there or I wouldn't be working with them. This is where I step into the, um, as your professional advisor, or just as your advisor, set of statements that I'll make to this client. So this is an email followed by a call. The email is as follows. Uh, Dear Mr. So-and-so, if you want to be very formal about it, or hi, John, I'm writing today because I'm concerned about this widget 
or this app or this decision or this, but right, I'm concerned because this product needs to be upgraded. The advisories are here, advisory one, advisory two, advisory three. The risk to your business is as follows, one, two, three. These are the options. I understand that your business needs to save money, but the consequences of not moving ahead with my advice, my advice as your advisor, is that this could actually end up costing your business considerably more money. We have taken the time to explore three ways to solve the problem. Not too heavy, not too light, just right, right? One's $1,000, one's $10,000, one's $5,000. I will phone you tomorrow to go over these points again. We need to make a decision as soon as possible. Thank you. You're on mute. But hmm. let's let's talk about the the dentist office that just called you. They need a new IT person. You Mm. you guys, you know, you, you have a great meeting, you hit it off. And then yeah. you get to the to the most important part, HIPAA mm. compliance. Mm. And they think it's all bull honky and they refuse right. to spend the money on it and they're not yeah. gonna they're they're not yeah. gonna authorize you to do any HIPAA stuff. Sure. Yeah. Look, this comes down to I I think there's some um but we don't have that in Australia, by the way. I just want right. to—I want to state that I'm not—I'm not a HIPAA expert. Um, we have a different type. There's some similar. There's stuff, something yeah. though that that your IT people. Yeah. There's some regulations, maybe Correct. for doctors or lawyers or whatever. It's not as right? it's not as um it's not as demonized and fear mongered and like <laughs> like pushed in this market as it is in the US market, where everybody now needs to thinks they now need to be a lawyer to convey these things to think it's crazy. Like the the, MS, the amount of burden and compliance that's being placed on MSPs today is just insane. And there's a lot of misunderstandings about it and we we hear a lot of that through our community. Um, I think this comes down to where you stand as a service provider and what you're willing to stand for and what you're willing to walk away from. But I think it's important to have some case studies ready. I think it's important to have some documents on hand and I think it's important that you actually know what you're selling here. I mean, if you're going in and trying to school a business owner, a, dent- a dental office business owner that, that um, you know, goes to conferences and events and kind of has other dentist buddies and, and you're coming in and trying to school them, um, I think you, you, you kind of want to make sure that you have all of the right literature and the evidence to say it has to be done this way, guys, I'm really sorry. And if you don't do it this way, I have to walk away because this is going to result in legal action um, against you or against me and I'm not willing to take that risk. The the, the other side of it is to say sign, sign here. Um, I'm coming in as I'm just operating under your instructions. You've directed me to do it this way. I'm doing it this way. Sign here, but I have advised you. Sign that I have advised you. And I think that's the only two ways you can go on that, man. Your silence says everything. I want Steve always assigned to my to my support tickets. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So we pay Steve $100,000 a year here at, uh, at, at Taylor IT. Um, Steve is one of our, our top people and everybody wants a piece of Steve. Um, I'm going to need to revise the way that we've costed your service um, because he's not available as a as an on-demand resource. We have a team. We have others within the team. That's one. So that's just up front, like, I'm not allowed to swear, am I? Eric's told me. But that's like, <laughs> okay. Um, two, two is um, I thought that you engaged us because the problem is that if, you de- if your IT is dependent on one person, then you now have key man risk in your business. I need to make sure everyone in this organisation has a good understanding of how your IT works in case something happens to Steve. That's two. What's another one? There's so many angles on this one. Three, what is it about Steve? Okay, this back into like introspection. What is it about Steve that you like? What is it about Adrian that you don't like? And how can I work with my team to make sure that Adrian is meeting your needs as well as Steve is. 
Yeah, because the the big thing there is it, it's it's kind of twofold. One, they're making it so that way they have you know it, it could be half the technicians available if if you've got two guys. Maybe you've got ten guys and they only want Steve. Well, they're literally saying we're okay with mm. just have no. They're not saying we're okay with you being available ten percent of the time that you normally are. They're saying yeah. we need Steve to drop everything because he's the only guy we trust to handle our stuff. Right. Yeah. And so this is a convers again, I think questions are, are really valuable. I keep saying that. Um I want to know why. I mean, I I to me, um I mean, we've got a lot of people at benchmark, and so comments like that can happen. Yeah, it's like I I, I want, you know, I want Fred, I don't want Sally. And it's like, well, that's not what we that's not what we deliver. What what we deliver is an assurance that there's always going to be someone to pick up the call, take the ticket, work the ticket, and produce an outcome. That's what we sell. And so once we start getting into named resourcing, well, first of all, it doesn't scale, right? And because it doesn't scale, the price has to go up. So now we're like now we've got dedicated resourcing. You've got the you've got the best the best man working your account and therefore that price is exponential it's huge the, 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 it's huge and it's risky and so that's the same for you it's the same for you as it is for me it's not what the client is buying and if the client thinks that's what they're buying you need to reset them and make it clear that that's not what they're buying and that's great i feel like today has been all about um building for scale uh like i Ooh. said earlier i i I met with Dale Walls earlier about building for scale. That was literally the the mm. title of the episode. And mm. now you're talking about doing the exact same thing because that's that's what you're able to do as Benchmark 365. Mm. You're you're allowing MSPs to scale using your mm. resources. So mm. <clears throat> I would say that anytime a customer, good lord, do you hear him being crazy? He's like screaming. I, I love kids. Um, you know, I'm worried because it's school time here, and I just think my kids are just still asleep. Because I said, "Don't come in. I'm going to lock the door," and they need to be at school by now. And I haven't heard a peep. So maybe they're having the day off school. Who knows? Any time I hear a customer or a prospect expecting us to take what we normally do and undo it. Ooh. They're automatically mm. saying, I don't want you to be able to scale. Mm. And if they don't yes. want me to be able to scale, yeah. that mm. that must mean that they're willing to spend all the money that I'm losing out on. Yep. 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 Exactly. And that's that that's that attitude of the million dollars in the, in your back pocket. It's like you want me to unbake the cake. And you just want me, I mean, let's face it, Steve, a lot of people that are in your audience, it's actually, I just want you, like I want you, the owner, the owner of the business to drop everything every time my printer doesn't work or every time I have a question about my email signature or something, I want you to just drop everything. Sure. Yeah, there's a price for that. There's yeah. definitely a price for that. I mean, we just had some legal work done and we have a really great firm that does everything for for my companies, um, they're they're great, and the, the the lawyer that I engage there comes back to me and says, "James, this piece of work here, you don't want me working on that. The price is double." He's like he's honest. He's like, "You really don't want me working on this type of agreement for you. You, I'm going to delegate this to a junior. I'll 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 look it over once they've completed the agreement work. I'll look it over and sign off on it. And so it'll just be an hour of my time and five hours of his." Right. And so as an MSP business owner, the client's saying, I want you to drop everything. You've got to start to, to kind of get good at finessing that conversation back to, well, that's not what we sell here. That's not what we do here. What we do is we offer the ability for you to call our help desk number and the ability for you to email that address. Now, now the reason that they're saying this is, first of all, they're giving it a go and so do you with your accountant and your lawyer and you that you want to try for it. Um, but what they're, what they're also maybe saying is they don't have faith in your team and you have to address that. You have to, you actually have to say, instead of no, just call it, just email support at taylor.com. No, you have to say, can I come and have a chat? What is it about calling that number? Or what is it about that email address 
that makes you say, no, I'm just going to email James, right? What is it? You need to know. And then get them part of like helping you. What could we do to improve? And they might say, it's too slow. I call you, James, I get you right away. I call them, it takes an hour. Oh, okay, it sounds like you're looking for a more aggressive SLA. Let's talk about that. What does that look like? What does that cost? How many more people am I going to need to recruit to do that? Does that make sense? Like, yeah, it does. It's, it's there. It's put. It's back on them. It's like I know. I know you want that. I know you want that. Of course you want. Of course you want the top brass on the on the case at all times. Of course you do. Now I need to talk to you about like what like what does that look like and what will that cost? And that puts that conversation aside in a very short span of time oh we can wait an hour we can wait an hour yeah, seriously I'm, I'm sure they don't mind paying ten thousand an hour for your time <laughs> that's right and they they you know it's it's easy to criticize customers but you're the same we're all the same we're all looking for the best we can possibly get but it's about getting it back to win-win so look it's like karen i know you want that i know you like karen karen i know that you want us to drop everything to fix your bubble jet printer. I know that you want that. I get it. I would want that too. But in order for us to be able to be that responsive, I need to hire five more people. And five people in this market, $65,000 a year, you know, yeah, that's $300,000 to make sure that we're at the other end of the line in an instant to fix your bubble jet. And so I need to charge for that. And what, and what, and that, and it's just for you because my other clients are happy with a one hour response time but you want five minutes and you want my cell phone can we come up with a win-win how about half an hour but you call the number and then if you call the number and you don't get a response within half an hour then you call me could we agree on that right that's win-win i like that Hmm. well james uh we're we're coming up to the end of our time i'm i'm gonna put one more shameless plug out there uh, for those of you that love the content that you hear on Rocket MSP podcast, uh, but can't stand the screaming children and vacuum cleaners, uh, <laughs> <laughs> go to anchor.fm, A N C H O R dot FM slash Rocket MSP. And uh, there's, there's a button that you can click to support the podcast. And once I get enough support, I will I will rent space away from all this, away from all that. That way I can have uh, much higher quality recording sessions. So you uh, even have have the quality of a IKEA tree. You need to get an you. IKEA you need, tree. Yeah, you need an IKEA tree. It's great for got, the podcast the webinars. I've got the yeah. guitar. I thought the guitar was a nice it? touch. Do you yeah. play it? Do you you do? Yeah, I do. So that's a that's an acoustic bass. I've got uh two acoustic guitars. I've seen you play. That's right. I've seen you on Facebook or something yeah. a while back playing. You're good. Thank you. You're really good. I uh I play I, guitar as well, but I suck because I haven't oh, played much for years. Yeah. I feel pretty rusty lately. So um so for those of you who think James is uh, like some kind of sales guru, uh, James, will will you, for the right price, uh, <laughs> sell MSP services for other MSPs who suck at sales? No, but I think that it all comes down to being within the atmosphere. Look at look, I get it. This is all, um, it's almost automatic, Steve. You need to be in the atmosphere of successful MSPs and Benchmark Partners are very successful MSPs. In fact, they're the most profitable MSPs in the world. And being around those MSPs and having the capacity to sell is actually the big deal. The fact that you can sit here for a couple of hours not doing tech support, right, means that you're in a very good position to go out and sell. Benchmark enables you to go out and sell 24 by 7 services um, in your market you instantly become the largest MSP on your street. And so I think just being around that helps you to become a a, a bigger and more profitable MSP. And and if any of you are are those that um, maybe observe the Sabbath and take Friday nights off and and don't work Mm. again until 
what is it? It goes from Friday evening until Saturday evening, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. I bet uh, James's company can take care of you for that 24 hour period and wouldn't mind mm. doing that. Mm. Um, I bet you wouldn't mind doing a lot of things. I, I know that you have so many interesting and unique arrangements. I know you, that you're doing um, uh, for one, for one company, you're doing like email uh, like logs. You're looking at, you guys are looking at logs and you're like batching them all and maybe doing it once an hour. That way uh, you're not mm. dinging them for all these uh, individual tickets, you're dinging them for like mm. once an hour. We go through all these logs for five, 10 minutes. Uh, um, yeah. I know other guys, you're probably just answering the phone and helping to triage, um, mm. other people. You might be looking at tickets and helping to triage there. You're not necessarily doing work all the time. You're almost like mm. a really technical virtual assistant. Um, mm. and I'm, when I say you, I mean your people because they can't afford you. Um, but then at the same time, if somebody needs actual outsourced remote tech support, that's, mm. that's your bread and butter. Yeah. So the, the long and the short of it is benchmark is a dispatch level one, level two, level three help desk for MSPs. We only work with MSPs. We don't work direct with the market. Um, we only work with MSPs and you're able to come to Benchmark with a particular brief like, hey, I need my calls and I need tier one done 24 hours a day um, and Benchmark can do that. And for some MSPs, that's in the that's in the many thousands of endpoints or many thousands of tickets per month. And for other MSPs, um, it could be a bit, quite a narrow scope. The narrower the scope, the lower the cost. So whereas you might have needed to employ a dispatcher or you might have needed to employ a tier one person with benchmark. It's on a consumption model, so you basic you basically pay for what you use. Yeah, and because I've got to wrap up, I need a very simple answer to this. Do you mm. have a minimum monthly charge? It's about to change, and so I want to come on your show in the next few weeks because we're about to launch something that is going to be amazing, and it's going to be it's going to be at a at a price point that I think every MSP will be very excited about. So I want to, I want to relaunch it in the next few weeks. Well, you know how to book it. Well, we'll yeah, get man. It done, man. And you're coming on, you got to come on my show. I can't yeah. wait. Uh, I can't wait. Yeah. Two o'clock in the morning. I'll, okay. Sure. I'll have to negotiate that with you offline, but I will, I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Steve, it's well, always a, always a pleasure, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. This this was amazing. I, I love having you on here. I love how much mm. uh, you want to give back to the MSP com- community because at mm. the end of the day, if if you can help some MSPs do a better job, then it's mm. just going to raise the value of all MSPs across mm. the globe, across the, market's, across the, the market's this flat booming. earth globe. Yeah, guys, the market's booming. There's never been more work for MSPs yeah. than there is right now. The market is insane. We're in a once in a maybe once in 20 year event right now as a result of COVID. There are sales to be made. Get out there, sell, stop tinkering around with your stack. Get out there and start knocking on doors. There's 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 work to be done. Yes. Thank you so much. Take care everybody. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Have you been looking for a way to stay focused on your goals and grow your MSP? Accountability groups from Rocket MSP can help. We offer weekly accountability sessions that meet online with a group of your peers. Your success begins with accountability. Go to www.rocketmsp.io to join your accountability group today.